Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee, welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today I'm actually really excited to share a brand with you guys that I really love and that I have been buying from for about the last year, and that is Noise. Now Noise is a Canadian brand that was essentially created to provide more ethical and sustainable options for outerwear. They've expanded a lot since then. They carry lots of other things other than just like jackets and parkas, but I really think of it as being kind of launched as a competitor to Canada Goose, which is of course another Canadian brand that makes big parkas and puffer jackets that use a lot of animal products in them and have been caught up in a lot of scandals where, you know, things have been farmed in really unethical ways. There's been a lot of animal abuse, those sorts of things. Now I am a gigantic animal lover. I am a vegetarian and I, when I was looking for a new winter coat last year, decided, you know what, I really don't want like a down filled coat. Now I live in Canada. It's very, very cold where I live. It regularly gets down to like minus 20, 25, sometimes down to minus 30 Celsius. So you definitely need a very large, very warm coat. So quite often people tend to get down filled ones. And obviously I'm not going to tell other people what they can and cannot buy, but for myself, I decided I wanted to explore more ethical options. So I did end up purchasing a noise coat at the beginning of last winter, wore it all winter, have worn it all this winter as well. And I will show you that coat. We'll talk about the features and everything a little bit later. But this year I decided to buy some other stuff from Noise. Now that they've kind of expanded, they have all different types of jackets. They have like crazy faux fur ones, bright multicolor like holographic ones, all kinds of really, really cool stuff. They have lots of faux leather like pants, jackets, gloves, anything you could want, but they also extended to activewear, loungewear, all kinds of more like just casual everyday clothing pieces, which are all still carrying that like fully vegan, ethical, and made sustainably. So I decided to try some more stuff and that might not be your thing, the sustainable ethical aspect of it, but I still have some very cute stuff to show you today, so I hope you'll still stick around for that. So first up, before we get into the jackets, I thought I would show you this adorable little lounge set that I got. And obviously you can tell just from like this top part, very me, a flirty little pinky lavender matching set. I love it. It is a ribbed material. I think it looks really good. I am wearing it with just like a really, really thin unlined bra. You probably wouldn't really need to wear a bra if you were just gonna wear this lounging around the house. Because it's ribbed and like fairly form-fitting, it would kind of like cling to you, hold you in a little bit. Obviously, you would be able to see nip through it if you got cold. Now, I got these pieces as part of a clearance sale. So the top was $9 <laughs> and the bottoms were $15, which is insane, really good prices. Now, regularly, they would have been much more than that. Because this is all ethical, sustainable clothing, I would assume the top was like $40 or $50 to begin with, and the bottoms were cl probably closer to like a $60 range. But just letting you know, the sales can be very, very good. If you ever are just, you know, looking for a couple sustainable pieces, definitely check out their clearance sales. I think I need to turn on the light because it just got very dark outside. <laughs> now, obviously this is very cute. I'm very into it. However, um, we reach a small problem with the pants. They're much, much too long for me. And these are supposed to be like a flared, really cute, comfy lounge pant. Obviously, I will have to get them hemmed if I'm going to wear them. Just wearing them, walking around in here, like I'm slipping around on the bottom of them. Very, very unfortunate. I'm five foot one, that happens quite often. Now, the pants are just really, really simple, and then they're just a very nice ribbed lounge pant. Now, I like how they look. I like how they fit. I think that they are very, very cute. Like I said, it's just unfortunate that I will obviously need to hem them. Now they carried 
this exact set in multiple colors and then they also had multiple different sets where it was like long sleeve instead um, like a jogger instead so if you're looking for some new loungewear maybe check them out and definitely check out the clearance to see if you can also get something on like crazy super sale now to prevent me from just tripping all over the place i'm just gonna throw on a different pair of pants while we review some of the other pieces all right so different pair of pants on i can tell already i'm going to wear this little top all the time <laughs> i'll obviously wear the pants a lot more once they're a little shorter so next up i want to show off some of the jackets and we're gonna start with the full length parka that I've had for basically two years now that I love. Now before I put it on, this is the parka. It is obviously like a very, very long coat. Now if you live somewhere super cold, you'll know we need to have the super long coats. I fought this for many years and tried to get away with like little cropped puffer jackets. It's just too cold. It's not worth it. <laughs> so in general at Noise, they carry a lot of different parkas, puffers, jackets of all kinds. I would say for a full length puffer jacket, the regular price, so not on sale, usually somewhere in the like $200 to $300 Canadian range, which is quite expensive. It's much less expensive than like a Canada goose jacket, obviously, because there is no like real fur. You're not plucking hundreds of geese to make the filling. It is cheaper to make and that is reflected in the price. I got my jacket probably for around $150 Canadian because they do really, really incredible sales multiple times a year. So obviously if you desperately need a jacket today, it might be a little bit more expensive, but if you can afford to wait a little bit, you can usually get it on a really good sale. Now, if you do need a parka or a jacket for this season, go check it out right now because they are having kind of like end of winter sales and clearance sales. So you can probably get a very, very good deal on a new jacket. Now, if I throw on this jacket, you can see it's obviously quite long on me. As I said before, in Canada, you absolutely need that. It's very cold. In general, I think I prefer a super long jacket like that just so that you don't have like wind blowing at you. You don't need to like worry about getting like a cold draft that goes up your jacket. If you go sledding or something, you don't have to worry about snow getting up the bottom of your jacket. Very convenient. I definitely like it. Now, I got this jacket specifically because of the like pinkish purple, like dusty mauve color. Everybody thought I was crazy for getting like a pinky purple jacket, but I love it. And I know a lot of people said like, oh, you'll probably end up not liking it after a little bit of time. Don't listen to people that say stuff like that. You know what you like. Now this coat obviously has like a zipper and then it also has buttons to like keep the part over the zipper closed. And then it does come with a little belt so you can kind of like cinch in your waist a little bit. So I usually just do that up every time. And this is the full coat. I'm not going to pretend like this is a super sexy thing to have, but I do really like it. I think this is very, very cute as far as like winter parkas go, mostly because of the color, but in general, I think it fits really well. I did get a size medium in this when usually I would get a small in jackets so that I can wear big thick sweaters underneath and not have to worry about it feeling like awkwardly tight on the arms or anything and the medium fits great this is not like a super super slim fit jacket or anything you could probably go with your normal size if you prefer that but if you're like me and you like to wear a giant sweater under i would size up one it does have a gigantic hood as you can see with the faux fur trim you can take off that trim if you hate it. I just leave it on. I do actually like the faux fur hoods for when it's very, very like blustery, super windy so that you can kind of push it over your face and keep some of that snow and wind off of you. And in general, I will say I'm somebody that is constantly cold. 
perpetually cold. I used to hate walking my dog in the winter. I would do it. I'm a good dog owner, but I hated it. I dreaded it. Now with this coat, there are days when it's like minus 15 outside where I'm sweating in this coat. And this is like one of the warmest options that they have. They do have ones that are, you know, only for up to like minus 15, minus 20. This is the like minus 40 degrees Celsius jacket. And it is wonderful. Keeps you so, so warm. You will be sweaty if you wear this indoors for any length of time but I feel like it's worth it to not be cold in the winter. It's worth it to me. This coat also has great, really, really huge pockets. I do like that. I like being able to put like my mittens in there or whatever if I need to. And even though it's a very, very big jacket, it doesn't feel super heavy. It doesn't feel super claustrophobic. Sometimes I find that heavy jackets feel like they're just so weighing you down. This one does not feel like that. It's nice and light. And like I said, even after two years of wearing it like constantly every single day, multiple times a day to go out with the dog and go anywhere, I've taken it sledding. I've done all kinds of stuff in it. It still looks perfect. And I imagine that I will have this jacket for many years to come. So it, it definitely is expensive. It's an investment, but I feel like it's an investment that is going to pay off with you know, being able to use it much longer than a $50 jacket that I got at like Winners or something. All right, <laughs> next up, we have another thing that I got on clearance actually. So this little faux fur, I want to call it a jacket because it does, especially the inside feel like jacket material, but you could also call it like a sweater, like it does have, you know, a little hood. I got this on clearance for $26, which is insane to me. Now it's just this like very, very soft faux fur little coat. I love it. Now you do just pull this over your head, which I will say makes it kind of hard to get off because it's so like poofy and fluffy that when you're trying to pull it off, like your arms are so much bigger than they would normally be with all of this extra fluff. It can be a little bit of a struggle, but maybe that's just me. Now it does have this little O-ring zipper so you can kind of adjust the neckline. It does not come up very high in the neck at all. Like this is the maximum amount that you can zip this up. But I do really, really like this. Something about it kind of reminds me of a little faux fur jacket that I still have, but that fits a little tight on the arms now compared to when I first bought it. I just find it very, very cute. This is super, super warm. So once again, I feel like looks can be a little bit deceiving. It seems like it's not that thick, but it honestly is very, very toasty warm. I have worn this grocery shopping and regretted it partway through because I got very hot and it's not like you can just easily open it like a normal coat. But if you were going to actually wear this outside somewhere, I think it would be perfect. My favorite thing about this is that the sleeves are not tight to your arm. I don't know why, I just think that the little silhouette that that gives versus this being like a tight sleeve makes it look a lot less like a hoodie and more like a jacket to me. And I really, really like it. Obviously this hood is like comically large. So I mean, I can purposefully put it here. If I pull it all the way forward, um, I can't see it all, but I don't think I would ever really have this hood up unless it like started snowing like crazy on me or something while I was out. In general, I would wear this mostly for like, if I was, yeah, running to the store or like going somewhere where I'm gonna have to be outside for like the majority of the time, because like I said, it's very, very warm. But I do also think that it's very cute and that it can elevate just like a regular outfit with a pair of jeans to look a little bit more bougie, if that's what you're going for that day. I do also like the green color, but I have regrets because they did also have a light pink in this and I think the pink would have been absolutely adorable. <laughs> now I was worried that the pink would be too light and then it would be too similar to my skin tone and it would look kind of awkward but seeing like what the jacket is actually like and like how furry it is and like how big and oversized I think that the pink actually would have been fine. 
So I do regret not getting it. If you are interested in this coat in the pink, it's also on sale for like $26. So I mean, you might as well treat yourself. Now those are all the things that I've purchased from Noise so far. You'll definitely have to let me know which is your favorite. And also, have you ever purchased anything from them before? I know that they used to be almost exclusively like parkas and puffer jackets. You would be very surprised if you have not checked out their website in a while because they have so much stuff now. They have dog coats. They have stuff for kids, men, women, like full fashion items, really fancy wool coats, collaborations with huge designers. They have all kinds of really cool stuff. So I'm definitely excited to see where this brand goes in the future. And I can already tell I will buy more stuff from them in the future because I really like it. I like you know, the ethical side of it. I love the sustainable aspects. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to hit the big red subscribe button found down below and the bell notification button so that you never miss another video. And I hope that you have an absolutely amazing week and I will see you next time. Bye.